What's up, pen pals? This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens. Earlier this year, Edison Pen Co. of Milan, Ohio introduced the Collier production model in a fantastic kaleidoscope of colors known as Rock Candy. This sweet acrylic material had fallen victim to COVID actually. So initially we received a batch of these and then shortly thereafter when the demand went through the roof, uh, unfortunately Edison could not keep up and the material supplier could not replenish the uh, rock candy material. So instead Edison decided to uh, produce a new material to replace it in the interim while we wait for more rock candy. And that is da -da -da -da, the Pearlized Juniper Finish, which is a brand new acrylic, and it may look very familiar to some Edison Pen Co. fans, and we'll talk about that. But in this video, we'll take a quick look at this new Edison Collier, made in the good old US of A. All right, so what is pearlized juniper? It is a deep, chatoyant, teal color acrylic, very similar to the blue steel model of, a, of Collier that came out a few years ago and has been discontinued. However, this version does not have a deep blue. It has a very deep teal color that leans more on the greener side of things. The Collier is machined from computer controlled lathes. Uh, these are CNC milling machines that uh, operate with a specific program that Brian from Edison Penco codes in there and then it produces a wonderful pen that pops out of these machines. However, each one is hand finished in Milan, Ohio by his crew. And uh, I mean, what a beautiful finish indeed. Each one of these is just exquisitely polished to really accentuate the sparkliness and the chatoyance of this pen. The Collier model itself is a very generously sized pen. And as you notice here, they have rounded finials. So in the back of the barrel, you have like a rather pointed end. And on the top of the cap is a little bit more of a gentle sort of rounded finish that's on here. And uh, it really lends to the overall, just the beauty of the acrylic that at just everything is all acrylic on this, except for the tension fixed ball clip here that's done in silver. The material has a slight bit of translucency that you could see through maybe the cap portion that's here, uh, but other than that, it doesn't have any translucency uh, to this wonderful uh, color material that's here. The section is concave, so it's pretty easy to grip. It's not too short, but then again, it's not as long as, let's say, I think like the Newark is or the Menlo, uh, but it definitely has a nice hold. And on the barrel that you'll see, the one material decoration that's on here is the Edison Penco logo, as well as the name of the model, which is the Collier. The cap does not post, so that might be a non-starter for some people. It barely attaches to the back end here, which then probably you know falls off in short order as you're writing with it. However, it does have a nice length. Like I said, it's a pretty generously sized cigar shaped type and it has a good solid feel in hand because there is just so much of this acrylic. Uh, it's a fairly good diameter as well. And it kind of has like a taper where it tapers more towards the front and usually you would see in most other cigar shapes, it would taper usually towards the back. So it's, it has a very nice, pleasant balance in hand, even you know writing without it posted like this. So uh, if you're a cap in hand type of person, the Collier is a pretty nice pen uh, to write with like this. So how do you fill the Edison Collier? Well, you have a threaded barrel that removes from the section to reveal a Schmidt K5 fountain pen ink converter, which comes with the Edison Collier. It also fills with international size ink cartridges. So if you have a short international size ink cartridge, you could use one and then piggyback the other one inside the barrel, or you could put some silicone grease around the threads here and then screw on the barrel and eyedropper fill the entire barrel for maximum amount of ink capacity. So the nib that's on here on this current model that I'm showing you is an 18 karat gold Yovo number six size nib. So you could replace this nib then with any Yovo number six size nib unit. 
the uh, this happens to be the 18 karat model which goes for $299 with the pen of course uh, and then the steel nib model is 169 and the steel nib comes in extra fine fine medium or broad and then also 1.1 and 1.5 millimeter stub nib the 18 karat gold version comes in fine medium or broad however if you do want something that's outside of that, you could always call us and we could figure out some way of uh, being able to special order because uh, Edison does carry, I think, a few other nib sizes as well. So uh, if you need something that's special ordered, you can always contact us for that. And the box that the Edison Collier comes in, as you could see here, is a black clamshell box with the Edison logo. It opens up and you have a pretty nice felted interior. It's a nice sort of like a terry cloth and you have a couple of items that come with this pen and this may vary because uh, as you might see in later iterations of Edison boxes that they may include different things with here um, but uh, more recently you have an Edison Penco sticker you have an Edison light bulb logo bookmark with a little uh, tassel on there. And then you also have an Edison full length bookmark that has their uh, various social media websites, email address, and a little thank you on here. Great little touch for an American company. We always enjoy our talks with, uh, with Brian and Andrea and the rest of the team at uh, the Edison Pen Company. They do some pretty interesting things, especially recently with the Collier here. The Collier, this particular model, was a result of a contest that was held. So when they realized that they wanted to substitute the Rock Candy, which we have some pieces available of at goldspot.com currently as of the posting of this video. However, we'll probably sell out of them in short order. Uh, but once they ran out of stock and they knew that they had to supplement uh, this collection with a new color, they put a vote out on the Edison Pen Co. website and they had this pen and two other different model finishes and they said, have at it, which one would you want to see made as a production model collier? So Pearlized Juniper won. And they also do fun things like that on social media too, where they, uh, each of the employees uh, makes and designs a different pen and then they vote. Uh, you could vote on them on social media and then you know whoever wins kind of, you know, it's a little bit of a pride game, I guess. Uh, but it's, a, it's fun and it's enjoyable to see an American company really in tune with the pen community. Oh, and a quick side note too is that we're not sure how long that pearlized juniper will last because it will only be until rock candy is available that juniper will remain a valid collier color so once rock candy comes back then that means that juniper will end up being discontinued so if this is something that you absolutely love this dark teal and you love the chatoyant uh, shimmering acrylic on here I would definitely go for this right away because once the rock candy comes back, Pearlized Juniper will go away. Thank you guys for taking a quick look at the Edison Collier Pearlized Juniper Fountain Pen. If this video has been informative and entertaining to watch, please give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let us know what you think of this pen. Hit the subscribe button to follow Goldspot Pens for more fine writing videos, unboxings, and interviews with people from the pen community. And as always, stay inky my friends, take care.